Hello, I am Cat Blitz. Welcome back to my channel. So I am finally doing the large print edition of the Life Application Study Bible. This Bible has been, this one right here, has been highly, highly, highly requested for the publisher to bring out along with the KJV um, translation. So right now, they still only have the NLT and the NIV translation. They will be bringing out the KJV but they're a little bit behind because of what is going on right now in the world. So we're super excited that they were able to bring out the large print. Not only is it a large print, I'm sorry, I hope this video is not going to be too shaky. I figure to show the print, I'm going to have to bring you really, really close. It's also a red letter. So I took them all out of the box so you didn't have to like see me do that. Here is the number. So large print and is also in the third edition. Stop. Okay, I have this story on my lap, so he's trying to here, let me get him off. Alright. I'm not gonna need alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and just hop on in. Um, as you can tell, the only difference it's the same size um, with everything. The only difference is how thick the Bible is. It's like two and a half inches thick. All right, and up here, if you're wondering, this is the personal size. So they also blessed us with a personal size. I had no clue that they were going to do that. I only knew of the large print in play, but they also have the personal size. This is the regular size. All right, so let's go ahead and share the large print, what we're all super excited about to hear about. All right, so as you can tell, this has been my everyday right here. So it kind of still looks pretty much brand new and I've had it since last year. So it's, everything is identical. So I'm really not going to go through. If you haven't seen the original um, review, please check out the description box. I will have it located there. Doing this with one hand is going to be super, super hard. But here are the other covers you can get for it. It just came out in 2020. So everything is identical but the words. So the words will be like 11, if, 11 to 12 point font. I'm not exactly for sure. I will go look that up. But it looks, it looks maybe even a 12. Alright, so this is just the introduction to Genesis. Now, they did add a green color. That is, that's the only difference. They added this green to the berry color. But the berry color stayed in the berry color in the original. So, I'm not for sure why they changed that. Or maybe so you can tell, like, you're not pulling out the same Bible. You can tell, like, okay, this is the large print. So that may be why they made it different. They needed to tell the difference between the two. All right, so I don't know if you can tell. Oh, yeah, look at that, you guys. You can really tell the difference. This is just the intro. This isn't the Bible yet. This is just the intro. That is so cool. You can you can really tell the difference. All right. This brand new Bible, so all these pages are sticking together. Well, we're just going to keep it like that. And it's not helping that I'm working with one hand. This is the page that is sticking together in the other one. So, well, look at this. I'll just have to do it this way. All right. Obviously not the same page. This page is this page over here. But look at the words, you guys. Over here to my left, we do have an eight-point font. 
and I believe 11 to 12 over here on the right. So that is, um, not only is the Bible print font thick, larger, the study notes are also larger. Look at these study notes compared to these study notes. That is super, super exciting. So, yeah. I only, the only downfall I don't like is this one little ribbon for a Bible this size. If you're going to have a two and a half inch thick Bible, you should have at least three, least three, if not four ribbons. Just one. That's, that's very, very disappointing. All right. So you see the comparison between the two. So you really know. This is a large print, you guys. It's extremely comfortable to read. It is still in the single column format. We will have the green headers. This nice green line will separate the Word of God. Footnotes, and then the study notes will be down here. References are always over here on the, I guess right here in the middle. Will they stay like that? Oh yeah, yeah, the references will always be in the middle. So if you want to know your references, look right here in the middle. And there's still enough room that you guys can write. You can write little notes in here. But it's not like it's a longer or wider Bible. It's just a thicker Bible. So it's just still the same size as the, you know, the original. I was gonna say original and regular together. So let's get back here into the red letter where I know everyone is super excited. This is the Psalms. The paper is still much better than the original. The first edition, first and second. The third edition paper is so much better. All right, we're getting close, you guys. All right, here we go. Look at this red. Love that color red. It really, really matches the berry red of the cover. And we have black and red, so even if there's black on the other side, you could still see the red perfectly. Now, I haven't tried it in different lighting, but I believe from the first edition, this red is, is beautiful. It's not as pink as the other one. No, see, no, no, sorry, you have to wait. You have to wait, Bubba. All right, so this is the new, improved, updated, large print, red letter edition Bible. So make sure you go follow the link down below. If you're interested, I know many of my sisters were looking for this Bible. They wanted the large print. Many wanted the red letter. Um, I will be super excited when they go ahead and bring out the KJB translation too. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the personal size. This personal size is a perfect size to take on the go. It fits right here in my hand. It is the cute little chunky monkey. I love that. I do love the blue color. The blue color is just, it's beautiful. They have the gold, um, just like the berry. The berry has that beautiful gold print, but it just really pops. It really pops with this blue. You still get the smice zone. Everything, everything is identical except for the print. So we're not going to go through all this stuff. We're just going to jump right on into the print of the Bible. Now the print it's still an eight point font. So if you're worried about it being still too little, all right, they just shrunk it down. So let me pull out the original. Original, let me pull out the regular. I don't know if you guys like original or regular, but you know what I mean. The first one, you guys, the one we all have in our collection. So that's the personal size.
it's still very, very readable. They still have brought the color. I think with it being a single column, it really helps the print. Like if it was a double column, they would have had to have made it smaller. And that's another reason why it's a, like a chunky monkey is because it's a single, a single column. My husband's home, so you can hear him in the background. We have the green header still. So that green combo is in this blue Bible. So that's why I was really surprised to see it in the berry color. But I understand they had to separate the berry, regular and large print. So I, I understand that. So this will still only be a black letter edition. The large is the only one that has the red letter. So if you want the red letter, you have to get it in the large print. I was hoping to come up across some maps and stuff. Here, here's something. Still very readable. The notes are very readable. The notes are like nice and dark too. I like that. The paper is still amazing. There is some um, ghosting on the next page, but it is not distracting. I do believe it is line match, so I... Don't hold me for sure, but I, I believe it might be. It looks like it. It really does look like it. So that helps. That really helps with the ghosting. There's so much room. Look at this room to write, you guys. If you want to notes, obviously, the poetic books always has more room to write. But in just like the regular poetic setting you can still write look at this you can write all around here they still have the references in the middle there's a map you would get maps like that sprinkled throughout the whole bible if you don't have a life application study bible already in your collection you guys i highly recommend getting one and i recommend getting the the new one, the new third edition, new and improved. This is the best one. The other one, um, I do have, I think the second edition, and I'm not a fan of the paper. It is so thin. It's so hard to read. I, I'm not a fan. I really don't recommend that. But this one, they really stepped up the paper. All right. And then in the back, in all of them, large, regular, and personal, we all they all, <laughs> we all have, they all have this three column concordance. And if you look, they only, they embold the word that you're looking for. So this right here is God. So they have not the whole word, but just the letter. So that G in the beginning, it would be God created. And then the verse. So they have the verse first. Oh, that's pretty cool. Normally they have the scripture and then the verse, but they have the verse first. And then the scripture. Huh. I don't think I've ever noticed a concordance doing that. All right. And then we get the maps in the back. I really like these maps. My phone will focus. There we go. Sorry, my neighbor is... I have my windows open because it is beautiful and you can hear him yelling outside. Sounds like he's just making noises. But, okay. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I do love talking with you all, answering questions. Um, all right, let me go ahead and share just the box for the small one. The personal size. There we go. And it's the exact same wording. I wish they had the size of the print on the back of the box. But they don't. You have to go to the website. Alright. Okay, so I will leave it off here. Remember, be a creative tool in our Father's Art Box today.
I will talk to you all later. Bye.